medications both save lives and take lives. This program will explore the frequency of medication errors, the most common types and causes, and the clues to detecting that an error has occurred. This order sheet contains an error for 5-FU, a potent chemotherapeutic agent. The physician ordered the full four days worth of chemotherapy for four days in a row. The patient died after two weeks of suffering as her white blood cell count dropped to critical levels. After the nurse calculated the correct dose of cisplatin and the physician signed off on the order, the transcribed order did not contain the decimal point. The pharmacy department is involved in dispensing errors. The wrong drug or dose may be supplied or the drug is not sent at the correct time. The nurse allowed the methotrexate to infuse over 5.5 hours instead of 4. When the patient's mother questioned why the leucovorin was not administered according to the pattern of the first 11 treatments, her concerns were dismissed. By the time the physician came in to see the patient several hours later, the damage was done. This presentation gives an introduction to nursing home malpractice cases. I will first cover the most frequent reasons why suits are brought against nursing homes. I will then explain dementia and how it affects liability issues and a patient's ability to express pain. The defense of the case was complicated by spoliation of nurses' notes. According to the testimony of the nursing home nurses, Entries that were dated earlier in the month were actually written the day the resident died in the hospital. Nurses testified that they were asked to update the chart after the resident was discharged. When the nurses' timesheets were compared to the medical record, there were entries written for days the author of the note did not actually work. This case ended with a $9 million verdict. Here is the medical record from one such case. The record documents the extent of the burns. After extensive skin grafting using donor sites from the resident's legs, her back was still raw. The medical record showed that the nurses in the nursing home were putting mercurochrome on her skin, a chemical that does nothing but color the skin and causes a burning sensation. This woman was so traumatized by her burn and the painful treatment that she exhibited fear whenever anyone came near her and repeatedly said, please don't hurt me. In a 2002 Maryland case, a demented resident with a history of self-destructive behavior fell from an unsecured window. He suffered multiple broken bones and internal injuries. The case settled for $1.4 million. Patricia Iyer is a registered nurse nursing expert witness, and president of a legal nurse consulting firm in Flemington, New Jersey. Nurse Iyer was the editor of Nursing Home Litigation, Investigation and Case Preparation, published by Lawyers and Judges Publishing Company. She was also the editor of Medical Legal Aspects of Pain and Suffering, published by the same company in 2003. Nurse Iyer is past president of the American Association of Legal Nurse Consultants, a 4,000-member organization.